I don't know about you, but I happen to like looking at clouds. Since I've been a kid, I've always enjoyed looking up, seeing the types of clouds that are up there, looking for designs, um, similarities. Uh, hey, that looks like a castle, that looks like a person, that looks like a hippo. Uh, clouds are fascinating things. And today we're just going to go over uh, types of clouds so that hopefully the next time you're outside and you think to look up, not only can you have fun enjoying the different uh, shapes and things that you see in the clouds, especially if it's sunrise or sunset with the way the sunlight hits it and changes the colors, but you'll actually be able to identify the type of cloud it is and understand a little bit uh, about what causes that type of cloud. So we're just going to go through those briefly. I'm going to list the type of cloud, the name of the cloud, and then give you a concept or word to associate with that type of cloud. So we'll begin by looking at stratus clouds. Stratus clouds, and here what you need to think of is a blanket, a blanket. What you have is a layer of very cold air and then a layer of warm air that rides over the top of that cold air and at the boundary between the cold air below and the warm air above, as that warm air begins to cool by coming into contact with that cold air, if it goes below the dew point, it, it uh, condenses out and produces a very uniform cloud uh, bank or layer at that boundary and it looks like a blanket. So these are stratus clouds, warm air riding over the top of cold air uh, producing this sort of blanket look. Next are cumulus clouds, and cumulus clouds are the ones I tend to think of when I look up in the sky and I see different shapes and designs and whatnot. Here we need to think puffy. Puffy clouds, cotton balls, uh, this is basically warm air that is forced upward and as it goes upward it cools and condenses out into these big fluffy cotton ball like mounds. Cumulus clouds. And then finally the last type of cloud we're going to talk about today are cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are extremely high altitude clouds, seven kilometers above the surface of the earth. And essentially it's ice crystals at that level. So these thin ice crystals high in the atmosphere, the sunlight passes right through them. And here you need to think in terms of wispy, thin, feathery, as if someone had taken a paintbrush and sort of just scraped it across the, the sky there. Thin, wispy, feathery. And remember they are ice crystals at that level. So stratus, blanket, cumulus, puffy cotton balls, cirrus, wispy, thin, feathery. These are just uh, the basic types of clouds that you see. I hope you'll take some time not only to learn this information, but to actually go outside and look up. We get so busy. We're living our lives. We look everywhere but up. Look up. Look at the clouds and enjoy what you see there, especially if it's sunrise or sunset and you get the difference of the light and the colors and all that. And as you're looking, hopefully you'll remember blanket, puffy cotton balls, or thin, wispy, and feathery and go, oh, I know what that is, stratus cumulus or cirrus.